so first was conquering sex sex last next is conquering anger but when it comes to conquering this vice it is seen that the children are a very few children are pass in this subject of conquering anger because many think that anger is not a vice they think it is their weapon for them to express defense actually anger is not a weapon for a knowledgeable soul anger is a very great enemy because someone who has anger is revealed very well when that person comes in contact or in relationship with people and because he has anger in him baba's name is defamed those who observe him getting angry they say uh, he is a knowledgeable child he is baba's child i've seen now uh, what baba's children are like there are many forms of anger the biggest form of anger you all know very well because that is visible it is the revealed form of anger and it can be known when one is getting angry but the next is the subtle form of anger which is in the form of jealousy hatred inside there is jealousy and hatred towards someone but externally just speaking loudly or may not even be showing externally but internally there is anger because anger is anger is a fire is it not a person who has anger he is always burning not only he him burns himself but he burns others also in anger so to jealousy hatred whoever has these weaknesses 
within they burn in the fire of them continuously externally they may not become red or blue but inside they are but actually is red and blue is not bad but inside they are black baba singh this is why that is very bad too and the third form of anger is trying to be very clever or cunning when it comes to understanding they understand it very well and they say uh, what can i do i have to be serious sometimes i have to take the law in in my hand sometimes for the benefit of that soul but whether there is benefit of that soul that you have to ask yourself actually bab dada has never permitted or allowed anyone to take the law in his hand baba has not given the permission to anyone to take the law in his hands has he given the permission do you have the permission to take the law in your hands has it been spoken in uh, any murli that baba has said take the law in your hand but don't get angry no the one who says that he will take the law in his hand externally it may not be there but internally there is a trace of anger in him those who are the instrument souls they too don't have to take the law in their hands but they they have they only revise the law they don't take the law in their hands nobody can take the law in his hands but because they are instrumental they have to revise the laws which baba has made he has to remind of the laws which baba has made this much permission those who are instrumental have got but not everyone has this permission <laughs>